Good morning folks. Okay, time for a reveal. Now this is not new. I have had this car for almost a year now and it's actually a project car, a stalled project actually because of the scarcity of parts. So say hello to my Toyota Crown Royal Saloon 3.0 Twin Cam 24 Valve. Yeah, as you can see, I need a boot lock. So this car is far from done. There's so much left that needs to be done. This is another car that came from Sungai Petani Kedah. And uh, I'm just doing a very quick walk around because this car has never been revealed to any of you. And um, I did try to sell it once, but then I decided against it. I've decided to keep it and slowly do it up. It's running on 17 inch alloy wheels. I'm gonna get 16s for it because the 70s are just too big. Yes, the previous owner went VIP style, but this is what I love about this car. Check out the velour interior even on the doors. Look at the seats. Now, if you wanna talk about interiors, this car has got one of the most plush interiors ever. Both the front seats are, are powered, and this is to actually move the headrest back and forth. Yes, it still works. Grab handles for the rear passenger on the back of the seat. Look at that original steering wheel. Yes, it's an auto gearbox, and that's one of the main problems of this car. The gearbox is, well, to not put such a fine point on it, the gearbox is a bit funky. Uh, I don't think the battery's connected, but... Uh, it's a really, really nice car. It needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of attention. As you can see, some parts are falling off. This is from the uh, B pillar. The B pillar garnish has fallen off. Uh, sorry, it's a little bit dark in here because it's at Ken's shop. He has graciously allowed me to park the car here. And uh, while I'm getting stuff done to it, it's a very slow, ongoing project. Look at that. Look at the lighting. And those are aircon vents. So yeah, very, very nice aircon vents for the, uh, for the, uh, oh, uh, hello, the battery is connected. Okay, all right, okay, that's interesting. So yeah, these are aircon vents for the uh, rear passenger. So this car was made for, to be chauffeured in, there's even a very politically incorrect uh, ashtray in the door, but there's a lot to be done. Thankfully, the interior is still, by and large, very, very nice. Let me get out and show you the front. Because this car is... Door still closed beautifully. Ah, oh, check that out. See, the door panels are still okay. And the velour goes all the way inside. Look at the seats. So, so nice. This car is very, very comfortable to be in, actually. Ah, oh, yes push that and it's supposed to it's supposed to open but of course it doesn't again this is a project car it's a stalled project I need a cover for that uh, it is a stalled project there's so much to be done on this car the previous owner put in this uh, sound system but uh, yeah you see it still tells me the doors are open uh, electronic driver seat and oh okay yeah the, the battery is connected because that's the uh, door open warning light for oncoming traffic to see that you've opened your doors it's a lovely car. It needs a lot of attention. It needs a... <laughs> works. That's nice. Honestly, I didn't know they worked because uh, this, this car has been idle for... coming now close to a year. Lots to be done. Lots to be done. It is a project car. I've always told myself don't have too many projects, you know, at the same time. But I never listen to my own advice, which is uh, sad, really. And uh, now I want to show you the... See, it still closes beautifully. The glass is all still good. There's a crack in the windshield, a pretty big crack in the windshield. And getting a new windshield for this car is going to prove very difficult. I might have to get a local one or a Taiwan one. I want to show you what's under this huge bonnet. It's a big car. And uh, yes, it's even got the fender lights, reminiscent of my Sentra. But uh, here, here's what I want to show you. And... Uh, Get ready for this because it's it's pretty pretty incredible. If I can remember where the uh, the bonnet release was, I think it was here somewhere. There we go. Oh, oh my goodness, the bonnet is so heavy. Oh, yeah.
but there is the heart of this car. It is a three liter straight six 24 valve engine mated to an automatic gearbox, four speed if I'm not mistaken, rear wheel drive. On the odd occasion that I actually managed to drive this car, it lit up the front tire, the, re the rear tires in first and second gear. It was crazy. It is crazy powerful. Unbelievably quick. And, uh, but yeah, there's a gearbox problem and uh, a lot of stuff needs to be sorted out before this car can be put back on the road. Very daunting, of course, will be the uh, road tax. Um, I'm gonna try and put this car back to as original as possible. That's the original steering wheel. You can see the crown on it right there. I'm gonna try and put this car back to as original as possible and then try and get classic road tax for it because three liter road tax, as you know, not the cheapest thing in the world. But yeah, this was meant to be my VIP cruiser, uh, you know, once I got it done. Because the rubbers, the door rubbers and everything are still okay. Yeah, the body needs some work. As you can see, the uh, light works here. Oh, the bonnet just slammed. Don't worry, I didn't break anything. But it's, uh, it's a lovely car. It really is a lovely, lovely car. And I, I'm hoping to get it done sometime. Because it's wonderful. Check it out. I'm going to close the door. I'm going to get into the back. This is my driving position because I was the last person to drive this car. So with my driving position, look at the leg room that I have. Sorry, it's a little bit dark here, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lovely, lovely car. I, I really, really love this car. And... Uh, you know, at one point I got a bit disheartened and I thought I'd sell it off, but no, I decided, I've decided to keep it and see what I can do. Whoever sits behind is going to feel really, really good. It's super luxurious. Look at that. So yeah, welcome to my... Oh, are you working? Yeah, okay. It works. Just need a little bit of a jiggle. So yeah, welcome to my Toyota Crown Royal Saloon. As you know, some were used as taxis, but not this variant. The taxis were actually the Super Select. Um, and this is the Royal Saloon. I think there was also a Super Saloon, uh, Super Select, and Royal Saloon. The Royal Saloon was the top of the line. And this, folks, is a Royal Saloon. I'm gonna turn this off so I don't kill my battery. <laughs> but yeah. Stay tuned. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do with this car. Uh, I'm going to do it up slowly. But if anybody's interested to take on a VIP style Toyota Crown, hit me up in the comments or better yet, just send me an email and let's deal. Chris at EvoMalaysia.com if you want this car in your garage. Once it's fully done up, it's going to be amazing. I mean, really, really amazing. Because it is a big Japanese Luxo barge that needs a lot of TLC I would reckon post purchase you would need to spend at least another five to six thousand ringgit to get this car pristine because it's got all the parts and it just needs you know some love some love and care so yes, if anybody's keen, drop me an email and let's talk. Because I'm willing to let this car go below my cost price as long as I'm assured that the person who buys it is going to do it up and not scrap it. Because this car deserves to be done up. Royal Saloon, no joke. Three litre twin cam, 24 valve. No joke, this, this is this is one of the top of the line Toyota crowns and it's mine and it's in my name and documents are complete, can transfer, no problem. So if anybody's keen, let me know. Uh, otherwise, you know what, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to just slowly do it up because I've got my VIP parking here at uh, Ken's place. He's going to just put it here and maybe uh, he's already decided to take the, these 17-inch wheels and uh, trade me straight up. Uh, for a set of 16s with tires so if anybody wants to buy these 17s they are at Ken's shop 
they are very very nice. They come with tyres, Conti's in front and uh, something else in, so, sorry, Conti's at the back and something else in front. Right, so that's it, a 10 minute uh, update on a car that you guys have not seen or that I have never done a walk around on. I think it was, I think it's time, timely that this car had its uh, moment in the sun. Uh, engine starts, it was driven in, it's just some gearbox problem. So if anybody want to buy this as is and then slowly get Ken to do it up, drop me an email. This car is worth doing up. But I'll tell you straight up, you need about five grand cash in hand to get this car pristine. And Ken can do it for you. And I'll be around to actually drop in and check on it. So anyway, take care folks. Bye.